One of the most beautiful things in life is seeing the way two people in love look at each other, and it was evident here today just how much you two love each other. Ali and Matt, we are so grateful to be here to be part of your special day. We love you both so much, and we're so excited to see what the future holds for you two. We met on Boxing Day at a bar in Port Moody. An hour after we met at the bar, we were getting kicked out of the bar. An hour after that, we were cooking pierogies in the Russ Borsi house, and we woke them all up with a smoke alarm going off. <laughs> I never got your number, but I knew I had to see you again before you went back to Munich, so I slid into your DMs. <laughs> we went on our first date two days after that, and just two short days after that, you moved back to Germany. A goodbye text turned into a conversation, and the conversation never ended, and that turned into a trip to Munich. On my first day there, I sat in the beer garden while you were working, and I thought, this is amazing, and I've met such an amazing person. Meanwhile, I didn't know you were texting your mom and your friends, saying, I can't believe this guy showed up to see me in a sweatsuit. <laughs> It was a definite issue, but we persevered. <laughs> we spent the first year and a half of our relationship apart doing long distance. It tested our love, our trust, and our patience. Every time we said goodbye at the airport, it became so much harder. Then when you finally moved back, I promised myself we would never be apart again. So Ali Marie Furman, Here's my promise to you. I promise to always have the same love, trust, and patience that brought us through those long distance times. I promise to look at you every day like I did the first time you got off the plane. I promise to comfort you in times of sorrow and pick you up when you are down. I promise to always listen even when I don't agree. And I promise every morning when I wake up I look at you and I'm thankful for how lucky I am. You're the most beautiful person I know. I love you with all my heart and I promise to love and care for you for the rest of our lives. Here we are in this beautiful place, in the presence of everyone we love, both here and those have, who have passed. And I want to make some vows to you. So I vow to you to, number one, be a good friend. Um, I couldn't imagine not having you as my best friend for the rest of my life. We also have such amazing friends and you treat your friends so well and I find that super inspiring, inspiring to you constantly. I also vow to feed off of your humor so your lightness and brevity makes everyone around you feel comfortable and at ease at moments when you could cut the tension with a knife, like right now. Um, you have the unique gift of being able to shift the energy instantly with a funny thought. Number three, to exercise trust. As we go through life and experience more things, I'll undoubtedly be relying on you in a thousand different ways, and you, me. Number four, to bring ideas and new ways of thinking to the table. Whether discovering a new culture in a new place, challenging people's ways of thinking and conversation, or teaching an old dog a new <laughs> trick, uh, I promise to continue to push boldly into the uncertain and uncomfortable, making way for us both to experience newness. And number five, it's windy. <laughs> to inspire you to accomplish things beyond what you ever imagined. You're humble and grateful 
and I promise to appreciate your grounding energy, checking back in with reality once in a while. I first met Ali in a limousine on the way home from the Tragically Hip concert. And I remember asking her, Ali, what are your intentions with my best friend? She smiled and said she really liked him and reassured me that her feelings were true. And I could tell by how he looked at her that she was the one. Living with Matt and Stacy in the apartment, it was always an uphill struggle. Struggle of keeping the dishes out of the sink, the countertops clean satisfactory level of cleanliness of a living space occupied by two dudes. And then Ali moved in. Suddenly everything got so much nicer. Lights dangling from loose wires in the ceiling now got fixtures and electric plugs with light switches finally got covers which were never installed to begin with. <laughs> Things look cleaned and tidied always. At this point I knew Ali was someone he was trying to impress. And now Ali and Matt have a beautiful home in Port Moody and a perfect place to raise a family. As great as Matt is at building things and Ali is at interior design, both of you would make even better parents. Whatever your future holds, I can't wait to watch you grow as a well. couple. So, I'd like everyone to raise their glass in the room and have a toast to the bride and the groom. Some closing advice. Love is a lot like jujitsu in many ways. There may be times when you want to quit, and it's important you remember why you started in the first place. You're never perfect, and there's always something you can learn. It's a long, humbling process that is worth every step of the journey. To Matt and Ali. opportunity to tell you how grateful that I am <laughs> that you met Ali. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna cry now. <laughs> You've been such a calming presence for her and as Brennan would say, you're the yin to her yang. <laughs> we can see how much you bring out the best in her and I've never seen her so truly happy to have you and Stella in her life. Sometimes I wonder if she loves Stella more than you, though. <laughs> Being a part of your lives and seeing how much you care for each other is something that brings me so much hope and excitement to see what the future holds. I love you. <laughs>